Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone. For drivers who want to get the most out of their cars, it's Bridgestone or nothing. Dow Automotive Systems. Improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by Hyundai. Experience the 2011 Hyundai Sonata today at HyundaiSonata.com. This is AutoLine Daily for August 24, 2011, and here's the latest. Toyota officially launched its redesign of the Camry yesterday. The car is better than the one it replaces by every single measure except one. More on that in a minute. Depending on the model, Toyota reduced the prices anywhere from $200 to $2,000 except for the base model, which is nearly $2,000 more than before. The standard four-cylinder engine delivers slightly more power and fuel economy. The V6 also gets slightly better fuel economy, while the hybrid version gets a 30% jump to 43 miles per gallon in city driving. That's 5.4 liters per 100 kilometers. Even though this is a carryover platform, Toyota managed to reduce the weight slightly and improve the interior packaging for more room. I got a chance for a brief test drive and the Camry is impressively smooth, quiet, and roomy. The very characteristics that have made it one of the best-selling cars in the world for years. But to my eye, the styling is too conservative, especially when you look at the side profile. Most people will not even realize that this is a new car and that will make it harder for Toyota to attract new buyers. This is a car that will look especially dated at the end of its design cycle four years from now. By trying to play it safe with the styling, Toyota has actually taken a very big risk. General Motors has come up with a more environmentally friendly way to paint plastic parts called flame surfacing. It's good for the environment and the bottom line. It eliminates the need for primer, which saves time by cutting a step out of the painting process. Plus, it dramatically reduces the use of solvents, which cuts emissions. You know, paint shops are the number one source of noxious fumes at automotive plants. Like its name suggests, the flame surfacing process treats plastic pieces with a robotically controlled torch. This prepares the surface of the parts for painting without requiring primer. Right now, this technology is being used on the Chevy Cruze, the Sonic, and the Volt. GM estimates that using flame surfacing on the Cruze alone can reduce air pollutants from 810 tons a year to only 80. The company also estimates it can reduce paint-related waste from 25 tons annually to almost zero. Downsizing, forced induction, and direct injection are one of the hottest automotive fads right now. But Mazda thinks there's more than one way to skin the fuel economy cat. The company's new Skyactiv G gasoline engine features an incredibly high 13 to 1 compression ratio. And that's practically in diesel territory. A high compression ratio is good for efficiency and power output, but bad for other things like knocking. So engineers managed to deliver this in a mass market engine that does not run on high octane fuel with a four into two into one exhaust manifold. This free flowing design reduces back pressure, keeping hot gases from being forced back into the combustion chambers. It also has special piston cavities and a shorter overall combustion cycle. All told, the two liter version of this engine should deliver 155 horsepower with 148 foot pounds of torque, plus around 40 miles per gallon on the highway. Look for the Skyactiv-G to debut on the 2012 Mazda 3. Hey, coming up next, it's time for You Said It. What if we always settled for the first thing that came along? Then we'd never have gotten here. Introducing the Sonata Hybrid from Hyundai. And now it's time for some of your feedback. Chuck Grenchy sure is puzzled over why Ford would team up with Toyota to make hybrid systems for trucks. Why would Ford share their superior lead in full-size trucks, he asks. I wouldn't think Ford would want to give the Tundra any traction in the last bastion of strength still held by the U.S. automakers. Well, Chuck, this is really all about splitting the cost of developing a hybrid system. 
there's plenty of reason to suspect that these hybrid trucks are not going to sell very well, so why not split the cost? They're not going to share truck platforms or anything like that, just the hybrid system. Salvador G. didn't like everyone criticizing the Cadillac CL concept car. What's wrong with you people, he asks. This is a wonderful design, very classy looking car, very nice. And obviously, it is not going to be built. Actually, Salvador, they tell me that concept is going to be very close to the flagship sedan, not convertible, the flagship sedan that Cadillac's working on that will be out in about three years. John787 also has a question about the name of that caddy. I thought the French word CL meant heaven, not sky, he says. Correct me if I'm wrong. John787, depending on the context of how it's used, CL can mean either sky or heaven. And 602 Goliath saw that demonstration of the worker with the leaf blower showing how quiet the interior of the new Buick Verano is, but he's got a good observation. I'm really liking how soundproof that Buick is. Do you know if you can still hear emergency sirens from the cabin of the car? Nope, 602 Goliath, it would be really hard to hear any sirens, especially if you got the radio on and you raise a really good point. Automakers need to get a warning system inside their cars to tell you when and where an emergency vehicle is barreling down the street. HTG learned that Bob Hall, brother of Jim Hall, who made appearances last week on Autoline Daily, Autoline After Hours, and Roundabout, played a big role in the design of the original Mazda Miata. He writes, Picture this, Bob and Jim. Today, my favorite on-ramp was repaved. You enter downhill, 90 degree right in second gear, exit for a straight and go into third, flat out till the banked left, short straight leading into negative camber, 40 degree right, trail the throttle, get back on it so you enter the traffic at 70 plus miles an hour. If you did all this in my 96 Montego Blue Miata with the tire squealing, and I mean it, you just want to shake Bob Hall's hand and never let go. Bob, you will live forever, even if it's only as spare parts. Hey, we love those letters and keep them coming. And join us tomorrow night for AutoLine After Hours when our guest will be Mark Trosel, the new head of design at Roush. And that's today's report. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.